We we have we have uh, at least three Smokies, so we could bring them over. <laughs> It'll be fun. All right, all right, we're gonna do it. <clears throat> we we just we would have fun. You ready? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Board of Selectmen. We had a little couple um, difficulties with the camera, but we're back back rolling. Uh, it's December 12th, 2016. It's about uh, call to order at 648. The first thing on is we have the Blue Heron is here. Um, and the town um, through the state allows for extension of hours on certain days being New Year's Eve is one of those. We had a request from the Blue Heron to extend the hours on, on the uh, New Year's Eve. Um, they went through all the paperwork, they submitted the paperwork, and one of the things we have is uh, the people come in, the owners come in this year. I'm surprised that uh, Mm. A couple other places didn't come in, right. but mm. um, we're glad the Blue Heron came in. Um, so, any questions? No. Looking for an extension of hours, you want to go to stay open to one? Okay, and I think we say that's fine as long as everybody's off premises by two thirds. You understand about we understand about cleanup and stuff like that. As long as you're not drinking alcohol and stuff, that's fine. But just cleaning up. Scott, any questions? Uh, no, we had a favorable response from the police and fire chief. It's, it's within the timeline. Yep. And it's uh, a long established uh, practice at the Blue Heron to extend into these hours. Yeah. Any? Nope, that's good. It's what we've done every year. So. Excellent. All right, motion? Uh, motion. I'll second the grant the extension of hours on the uh, 31st first as it flips and uh, wish the Blue Heron uh, great success in their in their endeavor. Okay, so closing would be 1 a.m. on January 1st, 2017. Everyone off premises with after, within 90 minutes after that. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. We have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice talking Let's with you as well. Yes. Thank you very much. You also. All right, here we go. Next have up. A good holiday. Thanks, Thanks you, too. you too. We have Board of Selectmen updates. Mr. Bertrand? Uh, we are rapidly closing in on the uh, date for our receipt of final uh, RFQs for. 120 North Main, kind of excited about that. It's coming up, but it's going to be a relatively quick turnaround as well. The committee's going to get together once they're, once they're all received and um, review scale accordingly, and we'll keep everybody notified as to how that comes up. Early January, we should, we should be in a position to um, come to the board uh, with recommendations. Nice. David? All right. Um, we have a personnel committee meeting next week. We're going to be looking at um, comp towns and looking at our, nice. our annual review for that and also kind of like reevaluating comp towns, make sure we're using the right ones and things like that. And finally, our Comcast contract is in for signing. It's a okay. long and arduous did process. You want, did you want to talk about that, David? Um, this is this will be a 10-year renewal. Um, it's pretty straightforward kind of like our last one I think one of the biggest holdups was um, trying to um, settle the contract for an agreed upon sum for um, some rewiring of an upgrading of the lines up through Deerfield and things like that so to get us not quite on HD but at least better quality than we had before so um, there's really no surprises in the contract or anything like that it's pretty much like our last 10 year one um, It'll be very interesting to see where we are when this contract expires. But um, so, so basically, we're looking about um, somewhere just north of eighty-two hundred dollars um, a year um, for equipment right. that comes from the contract. Also, the big thing is four point eight percent return. Fee, yeah, return for the fee. The fee comes back to the town. That helps us put the uh, Comcast to get the the uh, uh, broadcast the broadcast together. <coughs> FCAT. Um, those are some of the high points. Just to let everybody know, there are 70 pages to the contract. Um, 
that, so it's a long, it's a very in-depth contract that covers a lot of different things, um, how things are done. So, um, so I guess at this time I would accept a, a motion for the renewal, to accept the renewal of the contract. Uh, motion. I'll second. Yeah, a motion on the Comcast renewal. Uh, that in the side letter that we have also that uh, defines HDTV. Um, if it comes available for PEG access, that they will put it in also for us. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Um, town Administrator, unfortunately Sherry is not able to attend this evening uh, due to illness. Um, but we do have the grand 2017 license renewal. We David? Do. Let's see. You want to read them off individually? Yep. There aren't that many, I don't think so. Okay. So, this is our license holders for 2017. Um, let's see, hold on one second. So, just let everybody know what David's reviewing. Um, there, there's a lot that go into um, what the town does. There's, there's, um, um, board of Health Inspections, there's Fire Inspection, there's Building Inspection, there's Building Inspector Inspections, um, and all of those, they, they have to pay the fee, they put the applications in. So there's a, there's a lot um, that happen, that have to occur for everything to, to get to where we are now. So David? I'll go through these. Uh, and this first section, um, these all have common VIT license, and some of them, depending on, will have alcohol licenses for on or off premises, depending on the, the place. We have Billy's Beverage, The Blue Heron, Bridgeside Grill, Bub's Barbecue, Demos, Goten Steakhouse of Japan, Gulf Mart, The O's, Spirit Shop, and The Sunderland Corner Store. And then for Class Two license renewals, we have Allstate's, JR Service, and Roy's Automotive. And for non-alcoholic common vit, we have the Dove's Nest, Dunkin' Donuts, Frontier Pizza, Mike's Maze, Millstone Market, Smorowski Farm Stand, Subway, Sugarloaf, Frosty, Sunderland Market, and the Wild Roots Cafe and Market. Okay, so under Billy Beverage, Billy Beverage has a common vit. Um, alcohol, they have a, a, a off-premise alcohol permit and they also have Sunday alcohol sales. Uh, Blue Heron has the alcohol license, a full alcohol license, Common Vic and a dance and entertainment plus they're able to do Sunday alcohol sales starting at 10 a.m. Bridgeside Grill has an alcohol on on-premise they have a common Vic, they have a dance and entertainment, and they have Sunday sales, alcohol sales at 10 a.m. Bub's Barbecue has a alcohol on premise, uh, wine and malt. Uh, they have a common Vic. They do not have Sunday alcohol sales. Demos has a full alcohol common Vic, 10 a.m. Sunday's alcohol. Go 10 has a full alcohol. A common Vic, as well as Sunday alcohol sales. Gulf Mart has a alcohol off-premise wine and malt. A common Vic Sunday sales. The O's has a on-premise full liquor license. They have three automated devices. They have a common Vic. They have dance entertainment, entertainment on Sunday. They have a jukebox and they have 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Sunday alcohol sales. Spirit Shop is a alcohol off-premise, full, common Vic, 10 a.m. sales, Sunday corner store, wine and malt, alcohol, common Vic, and they have Sunday sales at 10 a.m. So here in the, the list, motion. I move to accept the slate as presented. Second. We have motion made and seconded to um, issue the license as read off by Mr. Pierce. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Bennett Sewer Connection Refund. Aye. Okay. Two weeks ago, um, Mr. Bruce Bennett from 84 Old Amherst Road came in and they had a they had submitted a request for um, 
two sewer connections, but we went back, looked at it, one of the sewer con connections was already in place. So what Mr. Bennett's asking for is that uh, we re return one of those checks to him. Thoughts, Mr. Scott? Well, the sewer connection certainly did exist. Uh, I have the sewer policies uh, section of our, our book here open. I just want to understand, recognizing the sewer structure is based on, there's a connection fee. The connection fee, of course, uh, it comes from the number of appliances that feed the sewer system. Uh, it's quite clear that we have uh, one building that existed and uh, he did say in, in his application that it's going to have the same number of appliances. Mm -hmm. So it would be a, a connect, a disconnect, reconnect, I guess, in electrical terms. Uh, but since we're not doing any work to add to the system, I guess I can, I can appreciate uh, the request at its face value. I would say, however, being an inherently stubborn Frenchman, you know, there was a building that was torn down. How long does that go? Right, and our, our policies, we could have all kinds of sewer connection stems out there in the world that simply don't get reconnected or when they are reconnected, aren't compensated, not yeah. compensated in the district for. Mm. Okay. All right, so I'll accept the motion for the refund of the 700, the return of the $700 for 84 Old Amherst Road. Uh, motion. You have a second? I'll second. I have motion made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, what else we have? Um, we did the license renewal. What's that? We did the license renewal. Yep, so. we did the license renewal. Um, holiday schedule? Holiday, one thing on the holiday schedule, if I could, Mr. Chair, the handout we have is dated 2016, but the dates recognized on the table are actually for 2017. Okay. All right, so you want to go through the yeah, I'll read the them holidays. Off. All right, we have New Year's Day. The holiday is January first. It's observed January second. Martin Luther King Day is January sixteenth on the sixteenth. President's Day slash Washington's birthday is February twentieth, and it's observed on the same day. Patriots Day is the third Monday in April, April seventeenth. And that's also observed on the same day. Memorial Day, the last Monday in May, May 29th, also observed on that day. Independence Day, July 4th, Tuesday, also observed on that day. Labor Day, the first Monday in September, September 4th, also observed on that day. Columbus Day, the second Monday in October, uh, also observed on the same day as October 9th. Veterans Day, November 11th. Um, also observed on that day. Thanksgiving Day, the fourth Thursday in, Thanksgiving, in November, uh, November 23rd, obviously observed on that day. And then Christmas Day, Monday, December 25th, and it will also be observed on the same day that this next year. So, I went this year. We don't have to vote these, do we? No, not the holiday. Okay. <coughs> All right. All right, we're almost through. Um, public comment? Well, I was told that we were going to vote on North Plain Road and speed limit, but that isn't... Uh, not yet. Not yet. Do you know what it's going to be? I would... If we just got the correspondence from the police right. chief uh, first part of this week with a recommendation, and it did not make it to this agenda as it was after the posting of the agenda. So it would certainly be our next meeting, but from a public comment perspective, you weigh yeah. in. Yes, yeah. I would support reduction from 35 to 30. That's yeah. uh, heavily trafficked, heavily congested. A lot of pedestrians, a lot of dog walkers, a lot yeah. of bike walkers. If you ever walk around there at night, yeah. it's dangerous, scary to walk there at night yeah. on the street. Sure. And uh, I have no idea why it's 35 miles an hour on that road. It's just, not that that will change anything, and Nora will probably be the first one to get the speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you heard it right here, Nora. It's oftentimes the people who live in an area that, like, you know, are whipping up and down. But yeah, but at least if, at least you lower the bar, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and like Plumtree is thirty miles an hour in some of these places. That's yeah. Yes. Right. Thank you. That's straight, wide. straight wide. Straight yeah. wide. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. And yep. sidewalks are coming when to Plumtree and what Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That would be nice. Thanks so much. 
Okay. Any, right. Anything else? Um, nope. We have um, just uh, the other date here, 1226. The uh, uh, town office building will be closed to observe the holiday. Okay. <clears throat> Um, we will be back here next week. Uh, not next week, week after. No, next week. <coughs> yeah, we get a request yeah, for next week. Oh, sorry. For a quick one. There was a request. Okay, yeah. sorry, my apologies. No, yep. sorry. We'll be back here next week, we'll, as the we'll chair has said. We, right. will be, we will be here next week. <laughs> same um, time, same bad channel. Uh, motion. Uh, um, but before we do that, I'd just like to... Um, take a moment to uh, recognize the uh, passing of a long a long term resident of the town of Sunland, uh, Robert Qualick, Bob to all, most of us, Mr. Qualick to those that knew him when he owned the package store. Um, and you'd go in there and, and you get a 10 cent poke from him. But Bob passed away um, a few days ago. And I just want to, uh, at this time, take an opportunity to express my. Uh, Sympathy to the family, the board sympathy to the family, Mary Ann, Jimmy, uh, Sharon, Cindy, um, and all the grandchildren. Um, Bob was a, uh, had many different duties in the town, long term, long time serving assessor, um, and he, in his presence, will be missed. Well put. Okay, motion. Motion to adjourn. Uh, second. We have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, three zero. Declare us out at seven o five. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs>